Good Friday evening, everybody. A beautiful Friday for us to wrap up this Thanksgiving week. We had temperatures today in the 30s for most of our Minnesota neighborhoods. We've got to 39 degrees in Fargo. 39 also was that high temperature in Grand Forks. But look at Cavalier and Grafton, lower 40s there this afternoon. The average high in Fargo is 30 degrees, so we're about 9 degrees above average today. That for our friends in Valley City, Jamestown saw those mid 40s for high temperatures today. So we expect more of the same, if not even warmer temperatures as we go into uh, our small business Saturday. There's those current temperatures still holding on to temperatures in the 30s for most everybody. 24 degrees in Bemidji at this hour as the cool spot. Still 34 in Fargo, so only cooled about 5 degrees from where we saw that high temperature earlier this afternoon in Fargo thanks to those southwesterly winds that have kept those temperatures fairly stable for uh, the duration of this evening. But you see those uh, clear skies on the satellite and radar. No problems there. Winds have picked up though in the Sisseton Hills. You see 15 miles per hour in Sisseton at this hour, 17 miles per hour out of the southwest in Thief River Falls, out of the south in Fargo at 14. And this, of course these, these winds keeping those temperatures mild this evening and should keep temperatures above average as we continue through the overnight hours as well. Look at this. We've got those clear skies continuing through the overnight hours. Perhaps some patchy fog in northern Minnesota to get us going for small business Saturday, but we have 20s across the board. Could even wake up to some lower 30s in the warmer spots off toward the south. Then with the lunchtime hour, we have plenty of sunshine on the menu as well. We've got uh, temperatures in the 30s and 40s for most of us on our Saturday at lunchtime. And then I'm going to stop this in the early afternoon around 3.15. We've got a lot of folks in the 40s and even some folks in the lower 50s. Ellendale, uh, Oaks, Lisbon uh, perhaps could work into those lower 50s. Jamestown we're expecting lower 50s there as well. So another day with temperatures well above average for this Saturday. But then as we go towards Saturday night, we're going to start to see some clouds building in ahead of a cold front making its way through late Saturday into early Sunday morning. And with this cold front coming through, it's going to be a mainly dry cold front. Could see some spotty snow showers here or there as that front makes its way through. But really the most noticeable thing from this cold front is going to be those winds out of the northwest. And they will be busy Saturday night and they'll be busy also on Sunday, bringing in some much cooler air for the second half of the weekend. Here's your hometown forecast. We've got those 30s in Minnesota. Lakes Country could work into those low to mid 40s for your afternoon. Expecting 45 in Fargo, but off toward the west where you see those greens. Those are those upper 40s to lower 50s out in the James River Valley and down toward Aberdeen. But here's our air mass battle cast. We see those greens that I was talking about, those 40s and 50s. But look at Sunday. We've got that cold air pushing its way in. And even further, that deeper pink make, means even colder air moving in for Monday as well. So that's where we're talking about that big cool down for Sunday and then a couple of cold nights in store for the early part of next week as well. But we'll talk about that here on the two-day planner. We see those temperatures going from 45 on Saturday to a high temperature of 30 on Sunday but it'll be breezy, so the wind chill will be not quite to 30 degrees. It's going to be single digits to teens for those wind chills on Sunday. There's those cool overnights, Monday morning and Tuesday morning. Uh, morning lows in the middle teens with some single digit temperatures up toward the north on Monday morning. But Stacy, we keep those temperatures near seasonable 20s and 30s as we continue through next week into December. Plenty of sunshine there on the agenda for next week. Yeah, looking great. It's when the high is that 14 that it starts to get scary or 14 below. Yeah, that's right. I'm not yeah. seeing that on the seven day planner. <laughs> so that's the good news there. Thanks so much, Nathan. You bet. Well,